one of the things that you might want to do is to be able to track your client's measurements if they are doing some type of physical transformation, right? So let's take a look at how that might look. So obviously name your plan, right? And then include tasks that you want them to track. Just make sure that they are added to your task library, okay? Uh, so if we add a new one here, just to show you what that looks like, um, you know, enter your five, right? We'll hit left and then right, we're gonna add. So we'll make sure we click that add button to make sure it gets added to our task library, which ensures that we are able to track performance over time. So what I've done here is, and I'll, I'll come back to that part right there, but, you know, check your weight, measure your waist, measure your hips. Um, so we have kind of these, these objective uh, kind of measurements. And then I've also added some subjective measurements, you know, how's your energy level uh, and rate your happiness. So for these uh, kind of objective measurements, what I would really suggest is going in and adding in Oh, that doesn't belong there. Remove. Um, adding in a video and or uh, notes to help guide them on how to do that measurement. Uh, as we all know, uh, especially for things around like hips or other certain body parts that getting consistent measurements can be really difficult. So adding some type of guide to help them do that would be great. All right. So add in whatever you want to do there and then done. And then for things that are more subjective, like rate your energy level, you know, on a scale of one to five, you know, with one being X and five, five being Y, you know, how do you feel on average a week, right? So you could add in something like that, so on and so forth, right? So when you're building this plan, you don't need any other variables, right? We're just listing out the tasks. Um, and so something I added up here is, is watch me first. And so this obviously is not something that you have to do. However, for clients that you know who can kind of get in their head about things um, and maybe feel bad about any kind of concrete numbers, something that you might do is create a video or leave a note, right? Like, look, these numbers are, um, these numbers are just data. They do not define you, blah, 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 right? you could kind of create like a set the tone for this plan to kind of set them up, you know, mentally and emotionally before they, they do all this stuff. Obviously it just kind of depends on your clients, right? Um, another thing that you could do is um, in the plan notes, kind of set the stage, what kind of stuff do they need, right? Um, under what conditions do you want them to do this, right? Uh, do you want them to do it first thing in the morning or whatever it may be, right? Um, so provide some guidance in the plan notes. And then uh, we are going to publish plan. So I'm gonna send this over to Elmo. Publish and finish. Let's go see Elmo. Because I'm going to guess that you wanna do this more than once, right? So in upcoming, we're gonna see client measurements, right? So when you add a plan, it goes to the back of the list. So as you're adding stuff, you know, remember that you may need to rearrange your plans to make sure they show up in the order that you want, because these show up as what comes next from the client perspective, right? So what they would see is what's next is client measurements. And then here they would see day one, C is for cardio, so on and so forth. But let's say we want to be able to do this more than once. Click OK, and that's going to go over into our drafts. Uh, and then make any edits that you want. You could even rename this. Um, Right. And then we're going to publish this and it gets moved to our upcoming, right? And so just make sure that this lands where you want it. So in this case, you know, maybe you do it after two weeks worth of, of stuff and just make sure that you drag this to wherever you want it, right? And then once they complete these, right, it will go to your client's past performance and we don't have, uh, Elmo has not done his his, his work yet, uh, but anything that was completed and also added to the task library would show up here. So you would be able to see what they've done over time and what kind of progress they're making. So this is how you would uh, track your client's measurements over time.